All right, <clears throat> now we're moving on to my full seat breeches. These are the Tough Rider breeches, and I got them for free from a tax store because they came in with a stain, which you can see on the right side. One of the problems I've had is getting out oil. So if anyone has any suggestions on how to remove oil stains from breeches, please comment below. I would love to hear your suggestions. I have not been successful getting out these oil stains. These are, again, by Tough Rider. Uh, in spite of looking very hourglass in shape, they are cut a little straighter. And my only complaint about them is that they don't have a whole lot of stretch in spite of the high content of lycra. I don't know if it has to do with the Clarino knee patch that they use. And um, so they are made in India. They are 65% cotton, 25% microfiber, and 5% lycra. And then if you turn them around, you can see the microfiber seat. And um, for a free pair of breeches, they've done a good job. I would feel a little bit disappointed if I paid full retail. I believe they're about 110 retail. They also have the Velcro at the bottom. And they're in a brown. So my second pair of breeches are Trainer's Choice. They have a little zip pocket, which I love. I love to have a pocket on my breeches. They are 20, excuse me, they're 75% poly, polyade, 21% cotton, and 5% lycra. And they're made in Mexico. They're extremely durable. I've had these for years now. And um, I love them. They've done a great job. Been extremely durable, and they're great if you have an hourglass shape. They fit really well. They again have the Velcro at the bottom. That's the full seat. It is in the Clarino again, and I believe these breeches currently retail for around like one seventy or two hundred, I think. I got these on sale. No, I think they must have been. Yeah, I got these on sale for, I believe it was, they were half off. So there's something like $75 or something like that. And they were absolutely worth it. They're great, great breach. And again, the only problem I've had with the fabric has been cat related, not riding related, not horse related. So again, be aware of barn cats. They're cute, but they can do a number on your breeches. Okay, this is also a Trainer's Choice Breach. This is the Rachel. There wasn't a name in the other pair, so I can't tell you what the model was in the other pair of Trainer's Choice. Uh, so they're smooth fabric, and I got these for $5 used. These Trainer's Choice Breaches in general run a little large. So if you're between sizes, size down. Um, they're extremely comfortable, and this model is even more comfortable as higher cotton. But for that reason, it also doesn't retain its shape quite as well. It's a, again, it's a hook zipper setup. It has a pocket. The exact content on these, this is the Jackie. This pair was made in the U.S. before they switched manufacturing plants. Um, it's 94% cotton and 6% lycra. And again, I think I paid, used, I think I paid like $15 for them. So, that again, they use the Clarino seat. And you can see with the darting, if you have an hourglass shape, they fit really nicely. They don't, the, the shape, it goes in at the waist, so you don't have gapping at the waist. And they're green. These are the Grand Prix, and it's a gray, and they've got contrast stitching in a purple thread. And I have not had them very long. Uh, 
they're very comfortable. I think new they're 140 or something in there, 150. They have a plethora of pockets, which is wonderful. They have front pockets and the side zip pocket as well. Velcro on the ankle. Nice wide waistband. More pockets in the back. It's like very exciting. And again, the clearness seat. So it's got that synthetic microfiber seat. And these, these are 94% cotton, 6% elastothane, and they are made in India. At least this pair was made in India. And again, wide waistband. Very comfortable cotton. All right, let's move these up. These are my carrots full seats. I think they were the first pair of full seats I ever bought. They're in a light tan, so you can take them to a dressage schooling show. You can take them into a jumper arena. Honestly, I've seen some in hunter arenas too. The full seat is just showing up everywhere these days. And they've worn like iron. They're really, really good. You can see some of the stitching has come out, but honestly, they're about seven or eight years old. So I am not complaining. This is the microcord fabric, which holds up really well. On the bottom, it's elastic. It's not Velcro. So you just stretch that over your seat. It has the V panel, which is very flattering. Belt loops. It's a pull on. That's the back. Um, clear clearina seat. You can see that. Again. Nylon ribbed material. So carrots, at least when this pair was being made, were made in the USA. 88% nylon, 12% lycra. They have tremendous stretch. I wore these out hunting um, with my horse and they were fantastic. I love these breeches. Wear them all the time. Okay. <clears throat> these are brand new. These are the Ariat Heritage and Houndstooth. And they are made in India. They have got the contrast seat. Have full pockets, which is fabulous. And we flip them around. They were 115 and I got them at a sale, so I believe they were 20 or 30% off of that. And there's the full seat, and then again, the way Ariat does the bottom of their breeches is they use the stretch panel, and there's no Velcro, which is great. Velcro can get stuck on things. You have to be careful when you wash your breeches that have Velcro. Just take it a little slower. Again, Clarino seat. Have not worn these yet. So I will let you know how they work. And again, just like with the knee patch, they have the little V panel in the back to keep it from gapping. Okay, and in the Ariat Heritage, they're 95% cotton, 5% spandex. Let's move all these up. Okay. These are the breeches I love the most. These are the Eurofits. They're made in Germany. They have zip pocket. Again, just with all good breeches, you see the back is higher. Back is higher than the front, goes all the way up to here to keep it from gapping. The Eurofit label. And these are a full leather seat. So, leather seats are amazing as long as you treat them correctly. And um, the first time you ride in them, they might be a little stiff, but they break in really, really quickly. Uh, these Eurofits have these adorable trim. Down the side, 
they are Velcro at the bottom. And this is what they look like from the back. Okay, so there's the full leather seat. There's a stain on them, I have to treat that. And it's a heavy fabric, and contrast stitching at the bottom. New, I believe these sell for $375. I got these used. I traded breeches with a friend. Uh, so they're made in Germany. They're about 50% poly polyend, some sort of nylon. 40% 40, 40 viscose and 46%. 45% viscose and 6% elastic. And they're just beautiful. Beautiful on, they hold their shape really well, but they are expensive. Okay, these are Tropical Riders. <clears throat> I got these uh, used out of a, a tax swap. They were $10. I think new they are about 200 something. Uh, I'm not really happy with them, but you know, they were $10, so for me, I don't care. They are full leather seat, they're a pull on. The fabric is like sweatpant fabric. It is 90% cotton, 10% lycra, so it's very comfortable on but it doesn't hold its shape very well. And again, these are used, so I don't know if someone didn't wash them correctly, but the material has begun to pill. And if you're gonna pay 200 plus dollars for breeches, I would want them to look nicer longer. I would spend a little more on the Euro fit if you're gonna go with that. They come up higher in the back, in the front. It is a full leather seat, so that is gives extra grip, and it requires a little extra care, but um, mostly it's just not a flattering fit on once they've been washed, because it you get the saggy, baggy elephant look. But again, maybe it would be different if I'd taken care of these myself. There's the label, Tropical Rider. I also got these at the same tack swap, but um, they were a gift from a friend. They were stained, and I don't know if you can still see the stain. I really worked on them. They are this off-white color, and I guess I would wear them to a schooling show. They're very soft and comfortable with the sweatpants fabric, but they're very unflattering on because they're droopy. And full leather seat. Same percentage, 90% cotton. The rest is lycra, full leather seat. And you can see the pilling. So if you're gonna spend lots of money on a white breech, I would pick a different brand or maybe the same brand but a different fabric because this just doesn't hold up very well. Okay, these are fits. These were a gift from a friend. They're cream. They were not treated very well. You can see lots of stains. The fit is quite nice. It's a heavy synthetic fit. Excuse the pun. Not intentional and you can see the oil stains. I've not found a great way to get oil stains out of breeches, so if you have a suggestion, please let me know. Full seats. It's a perforated leather seat, so it has a whole lot of stick. It doesn't look very flattering off, but in the saddle, it looks fine and does a great job. They're cream, so I would not use them on my horse who's white at a show because it would look funny. But if you have a cream saddle pad, cream breeches, um, and you can go along that route. Fitz does this rather ingenious thing where it's also a stretch panel, 
similar to the Ariat, but it's mesh. So it sits very smooth. It's very thin, not a whole lot of bulk for um, your tall boots. I believe these are like 270 or something if they're new. But again, I got these used. I need to get the stains out. And the fits are made up of 50% micro nylon, 17% micro poly, and 29% lycra. Okay, these are the Paris ELTs. This is what I show in. They're made in India, even though it's a European brand. 95% cotton, 5% spandex. It has a zipper and a zipper pocket. That is their logo. LT. They use the Clarino seat, Velcro ankle. Looks like that in the back. And then it's just a soft cotton. And I believe they retail for about $150. And They've done a good job, but I only wear them for shows. Uh, so, so far, so good. We'll see what happens. Okay, my very last pair. These are trainer's choice. This is the same synthetic ribbed fabric as the gray ones that I've had forever, except the seat is actually real leather. They're made in Mexico. Zipper pocket, I believe these were to something, but I got them for $50 at a tax sale. The store was going out of business, so. Velcro at the bottom. Okay. Made in Mexico, 75% poly, polonade. Sounds like a drink. 21% cotton and 5% lycra. I've been worn once, so you see a little bit of staining, but that's just a problem that has to be dealt with with wearing lights. So that's everything. This is very long. I'll see if I can cut it into two pieces. And if you have any suggestions for getting stains out of whites, I would love to hear them. Thank you.